Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin today's episode, I would like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans, talk about the game in general, share some of your cool adventures along the rails, or just chill. You can find the link in the description down below the video. What you can also do, if you want to support my channel, you can subscribe to it and turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss any of the content that I upload in the future. And finally, for those of you who would like to support me even more, I recently activated something called channel memberships and for 99 pence a month, you can become a member and get access to some cool benefits, like a badge that will be shown next to your comments and uh, and chat messages while I'm doing any live content. That badge will grow with you as you continue to, uh, to be a member. Um, you will also get access to constantly growing number of emojis and uh, that's Yes, they will be updated. I think currently there are four emojis uh, on the list. However, soon there will be a fifth one. Uh, I just need to get it. <laughs> uh, as for the other perks, uh, you will get exclusive channel insights into my analytics that I will share with you in community posts. Uh, at least once a month, uh, although sometimes there might be a little bit more updates. And finally, you will also be getting exclusive ability to cast your vote in any of the community polls that I will make in regards to huge changes to the channel. So whenever I will plan to make some huge change, it will be discussed with you guys and I will definitely gather your opinions on that matter. And that will also be shared in community posts. So if you want to become a member, underneath the video, there should be that join button and you can eventually take your decision. Right, guys, uh, enough of announcements. I guess we are all here to drive some trains. So a small disclaimer. Uh, today we will be driving London commuter uh, apart from uh, that rush hour series. Uh, that is the last and third route that uh, that was released I think about two, three weeks ago, something like that. I've never played that. To, to be honest, since that was released, today is the first time I will be playing this. So don't expect a perfect driving. There will be plenty of mistakes, especially that I usually wasn't driving anything from British railways uh, in that simulator. So yeah, like my understanding of rules is at a very basic level. So there will be mistakes. Uh, there will be a lot of mistakes made, uh, but well, there are those things that that I need to practice on. Uh, obviously, if you have any suggestions or um, anything to point out in terms of my driving, missed signs or missed like whistle boards or, or things like that, I'm really happy to, to hear your feedback. Uh, most likely, yes, the best way would be to share it on my Discord server. Although YouTube comments, are perfectly fine. I will definitely review that. Uh, before taking this ride, I did class 387 introduction because that's the unit we will be driving today. And I looked through wiki page about some signals that may be present on British railways. Although, yes, that was just a quick glance. Uh, I, I read through it uh, at least once, but yeah, definitely, like, there is some retention when it comes to information that, that I will have. Uh, so, yes, don't expect perfect driving today, but I will do my best to drive as safely as possible 
and hopefully we can get our lovely train all the way from London, Victoria to Brighton in one piece and without any signal passed at danger. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is actually a possibility. I'm still learning how to drive this train and I need to get to uh, get used to it. Uh, so obviously there will be mistakes made. Right. Anyway, with that out of our way, let's jump into the game window so that we can actually play some trains, isn't it? There we go. Here we are in the main menu of London Commuter, that is chapter one of uh, the journey and that you will get with uh, this route if you buy it separately or if you bought entire pack, you should have this route already on your uh, DLC list. Right, so uh, let's crack on. Let's jump into London Victoria to Brighton and let's see how I'm gonna perform. Oh, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, so London Victoria to Brighton. Drive this Gatwick Express service from London Victoria to Brighton. Uh, we will be driving class 387-2GX. Uh, the total mass of this consist is 532.1 tons. That is a heavy one. We got 12 cars in tow. And the to total length is 267.9 yards. I'm, I'm not fully familiar with Imperial system, but yeah, I, I should be all right. Right, so let's begin. Uh, first things first, we need to unlock doors. Uh, the train seems to be turned on, although headlights are not correct. So let's set them up. Okay. Uh, oh, reverser is not set correct. Why I can't set the reverser? Perhaps there is something I'm missing, isn't it? Oh yes, master key. There we go. Now I can set the reverser. We will set it forward. Okay, now I think I can unlock the doors. Perfect. We need to stand up. Turn on safety devices. So... Vigilance, normal, PSD, I, I'm not sure what that is, but let's set it to, to normal, okay, okay, I, I guess everything is perfectly fine, AWS is isolated, AWS is on normal, I will sit down now, okay, so we got AWS, Okay, hopefully that is gonna work. Right. Are these... Oh, okay, I unlocked the wrong doors. There we go. Those are the correct ones. And I can see we got plenty of time. Which is a nice change for... Uh, for Dovetail to, to give us a little bit more time to get ready. Yeah, we still managed to make it, even though I made some mistakes. That is a nice improvement. Okay, we can now lock the doors. And prepare to depart. Now we can depart. Okay, so power P1. And we are moving. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is in 23 miles. Wow, so we will be driving quite a long way. Uh, I'm not sure what is the speed limit here, so I'm gonna stick to 15 miles per hour, perhaps. Yeah, I, I, I think that should be safe. I, I think I'm speeding just a tiny bit. But okay, okay, we should be all right. I will drive off slowly and let's see if we can spot any speedboards along the way. Right, VC523, I think that's the signal 
uh, identification board, so that shouldn't matter too much to us. At least not at this point. All the signals are green so far. Okay, and there is a first speed board. 40 miles per hour. Perfect. Uh, we need to allow entire train to pass. Uh, let me go to outside view and, and grab some nice screenshot, perhaps. Yeah, that that would be appropriate. Oh, there we go. Uh, the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Okay. Okay. Vigilance device was pressed. Perfect. So we got that sorted. Okay, I can speed up a little bit. We still need to drive a little bit longer uh, to allow entire train to pass this uh, speed board before we can actually get our train all the way to 40 miles per hour. There we go. Just a tiny bit longer. I just want to make sure that entire train has passed that 40 miles per hour marker. Okay. And I believe now we can speed up a little bit. Oh wow, this line is busy, isn't it? I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, that 30 miles per hour speed board applies to diverging direction. We are going forward. Okay, we are doing 40 miles per hour. Perfect. We got 22 miles to go. That's going to be nice and relaxing drive, isn't it? Wow, this... This looks absolutely amazing. I'm not sure how well Dovetail did when it comes to reconstructing all that stations and, and stuff, but I heard some some basic opinions from, from people that it's pretty good. So, I can only believe, because I, I've never been to, to London uh, in, in that regards to, to actually uh, like travel by train or, or stuff like that, so I've never seen this uh, this part of the world myself. Okay, are we they running okay yeah we we got the correct lights oh we are speeding a little bit let's let's give it a touch on the brakes yeah we are going downhill so perhaps b1 brake will be appropriate here there we go that looks good Okay, speed goes up to 60 miles per hour. Let's allow entire train to actually pass this speed board. Shouldn't take long. But we need to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, I guess that's gonna be fine. So let's speed up to 60. We still got 21 miles to go. Okay, I will just gently speed up while I'm passing through the station. Oh wow, there are so many trains passing next to me, isn't it? Like this route is super busy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I most... well, 
there is one thing I love about Rush Hour, and that is the fact that from time to time you will eventually start encountering all those weird signals. Okay, vigilance pedal. Uh, yeah, I, I need to find the indicator for vigilance. I know there is that AWS uh, indicator in the form of a light, but I'm not sure if there are any other indications. Or perhaps vigilance is only voice based. Uh, and that that's one of the inputs that I would like to hear from you guys, uh, especially if uh, if some of you were an actual train drivers in in the United Kingdom, because like I know I'm making a lot of mistakes, and I will make a lot of mistakes because I I just began my learning uh, procedure when it comes to British Railways, but it is kind of interesting. Okay, next light is green. I know that. I can actually recognize this sign. There we go. Okay. Next speed limit 70. Okay, that's fantastic. So let's apply a little bit more power. Before we reach 70, we should be grand. There we go, so far all green. I believe the first scenario won't throw any weird situations on the player. But later on, I might actually expect to see some speed restrictions coming from the signals. Like, let's say, double yellows or single yellows, yes. And, well, single yellow will definitely mean that next signal is stop. Uh, so I need to watch out on that. But for now, things are looking good. One thing I hate about British trains, yes, and, and that is that tiny little window. And obviously, it wouldn't be a problem in real life, because driver can lean to the left, lean to the right, and, and increase his vision a little bit. Uh, but in train simulator, you, you don't get that, uh, that level of interaction. Obviously, I could technically activate uh, my track IR and I would have a little bit more control over my head movement okay that was a double speed limit restriction but I believe I'm still in a good spot uh, the second number was 70 if I remember correctly so I, I should be grand although I'm not sure to who the first number applied in that case Twenty-five forty in diverging direction. Okay, that's fine. We are doing just below seventy. I'm, I, I think I'm I'm good. Okay, still green light. Eighteen miles to go. Okay, next signal aspect is green. There we go. Oh, that is Vigilance. Perfect, we are smashing it. Okay, let's give it a little bit more throttle, because I can see that my speed is going down. Perfect. Okay, lights are still green. I like it. Okay, let's let it coast. I don't know about you guys, but I have a feeling that we are doing absolutely great. Maybe not the best, yes. That, that could probably be done better, but I think we are doing great. Okay, still 17 miles to go, so that's a long route. Okay, 
Okay, still green signal aspect. No changes here. I don't have to reduce my speed just yet. And perhaps I won't have to. I still got solid 14 minutes before I have to arrive at Gatwick Airport. Okay, let's let it coast again. We are pretty much on the spot when it comes to speed. Okay, the track to the left will have speed limit restriction to 45 miles per hour. I'm not sure if that will apply also to my track. Because I don't know the route. But I'm going to take that risk. I'm going to take the risk and carry on. Oh. Okay, that was a little bit harsh braking, perhaps... I should have been prepared for that speed limit restriction. And that's one of the things that I don't like about British Railways. If the speed limit restriction is not significant, you won't get that information board ahead of time that yet soon you will have to drop your speed by 10 miles per hour. I managed to do it relatively quick, but I believe that that could have been done better if I would just knew the route. I would predict, okay, uh, I will soon have to drop my speed a little bit. But, like, I'm not the greatest fan of driving from sheer memory. Because there are things that you can forget, yeah? And, and like, having an actual sign that will tell you, hey, oh, there we go. And again, speed limit restriction is 45. And I had to introduce some harsh braking here. We still got 16 miles to go. But the signals are green. Okay, 25. Yeah, I, I was definitely significantly over a speed limit. But thankfully the brakes in, in that particular unit are absolutely great. Okay, speed limit will go up to 60. Let's allow entire train to, to pass that speed board. Uh, perhaps, yeah, when we reach that signal I think I should be good to increase my throttle. There we go. So power on level 3, that should be sufficient to get us to 60 miles per hour. I could go with power 4 all the way and the train will just speed up a little bit quicker. But I'm not sure how passengers would react to such a sudden speed limit change. So, well, technically in the game we don't really have to worry about it. There we go, speed limit goes up to 90. So I technically could keep it up. Yeah. Okay, let's coast for just a tiny bit. And now we can apply full throttle. Just to make sure that we fully left 60 miles per hour speed limit zone. Okay, we had that sign with orange bars. I'm not sure what that means. But hopefully we will be grand. Another sign like that. 67. I'm not sure what that means. Is that some sort of temporary speed limit? I'm really not sure. Right. It may happen that I'm now speeding. Or it may happen that I'm not. Hopefully I'm not. Okay, we are about to reach 80 miles per hour. AWS, there we go. That was vigilance, isn't it? Ok, 
Okay, we are doing 80. Hitting 85. There we go. Oh, and now we get information that... Oh, okay. On that track there will be 70. So we can carry on, I believe. Still green signals. 12 miles to go. Okay, 70 in diverging direction. Perfect. Still 90. Okay. We are about to hit that speed. But it takes a while for this train to reach it. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. That was AWS, I think. Or, no, Vigilance. Yes, AWS would be indicated by the light. Okay, we are just hitting 90. So let me just put train to coast. Okay. Signal aspects are green so far. I think we are going slightly downhill, so I guess I don't need to worry too much about losing speed, although I am losing speed. Okay, perhaps power 3 will be good to uphold the speed okay uh, route is clear ahead perfect yeah power 3 is not enough so let's go with power 4 just to make sure that we will reach Gatwick Airport more or less on time obviously I, I don't expect myself to be exactly on time uh, th there will probably be some issues okay I, I can see that Dovetail still haven't fixed the tunnels uh, they, they still look awfully bad yeah we got some lights way up ahead okay there is a train passing next to us Okay, let's let it coast because we are now speeding just a tiny bit. Okay, I, I missed that signal, but it it was showing green, so I believe it, we are fine. Ooh, that's a long tunnel, isn't it? Okay, a tiny bit of brakes just to bring us below 90. There we go. Yeah, we are now going downhill, I can see that. Our speed is constantly increasing, okay. Let's give it another touch on the brakes, just to be on a safe side. Still got 7.4 miles to go. Signal aspect is green, perfect. Okay. Another touch on the brakes and perhaps let's go to outside view and grab a nice screenshot. There we go, that will act as a good thumbnail. Okay, we are back in the cabin. 
Perhaps when I get a little bit more comfy with that route, we will be traveling a little bit more with outside views, so you can actually see our train in action and, and stuff. But right now I would prefer to focus on the signals up ahead. Okay, we will get some speed limit restriction down to 80. Okay, so I am going to slow down using brake 1. That is more than sufficient. There we go. We are now down to 80. Still got 5.6 miles to go. There we go. We are at 80. Although, yeah, we are also going downhill. Okay, that was a double, like, a distant information. So on my track it's green, and I believe on, on the other track it's not. Okay. Touch more on the brake, just to keep ourselves under 80. Okay, that looks good. Four and a half miles to go. Another touch on the brakes. Okay, as long as we won't be held at the signal, and I believe we should be at some point looking at the times we still got five more minutes to arrive at the station and I'm way ahead of time so I believe either at some point I was speeding and that's why I'm four minutes ahead of time or there's gonna be some sort of a speed restriction or I might be held at the red signal before the station. Which is a probability. We still got three point well three miles to go at the moment. Okay, that was vigilance or alerter. Okay, 2.6 miles. Again, attach on the brakes. 2.2 miles. Still green signal aspect. Okay, one and a half miles to go. Well, just a little bit more. Oh, there we go, we got double yellow. So I'm going to start slowing down. One mile to go. Yeah, break one should be sufficient. I believe the next signal aspect will be single yellow. Perhaps, yeah, if I will slow down to 40 miles per hour. There we go, that's AWS, okay. That indicates 50, I believe. I'm doing 40, I still got 900 yards to go, and at the end of the platform I do expect to have a red signal aspect, so I need to be quite precise in stopping. Ok, 
Okay, let's slow down a little bit further. We don't need to rush, we are ahead of time. So let's make it a gentle stop. Okay, I can already see the red signal aspect. Okay, brake power 2, let's go back to 1. Let's make sure. That I will stop at the right spot. Let's let it coast for that 20 yards. Okay. A very gentle and delicate stop. There we go. We have arrived. So, doors are unlocked. And now we can allow our passengers to board. Okay, guys, we, we managed to arrive at the first station without too many issues. Although, I have a feeling that I've been speeding for quite some time. Because, like, it's very rare for dovetail game to allow you to arrive pretty much over a minute ahead of time although it might be because i've been driving so well so guys yeah <laughs> we will see that at the end graph but i have a feeling that this section with 67 or whatever in in that diamond uh, shaped uh, sign was actual speed restriction and I, I I might have been speeding back there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, a nice sip of coffee since we are stopped anyway. We still have to wait until 12 past 9. There's still a little bit more time. There we go. I will keep my doors unlocked. Just in case there are any passengers that are willing to board. Although, I, I don't think there is anyone else waiting. Yeah, I think most of the passengers decided to... To be here ahead of time. There we go. Let's take another screenshot. That looks absolutely amazing. Okay. We can now lock the doors. And let's carry on. Right, last speed limit restriction was uh, 50 coming from signal and I think it was 60 coming from the sign. So I believe that since we got green signal aspect, we can carry on at speed of 60. I might be wrong though and again that might give me some or earn me some penalties for speeding. But I believe we got 60 miles per hour speed limit here. So let's carry on. Oh, there we go. We got some confirmation. Okay. Speed limit will go up to 90. Perhaps. Yeah, I, I think I should be good. To keep my throttle all the way up. Uh, mostly because, yeah, before we will pass 60. I should be fully inside 90, kil uh, 90 miles per hour uh, zone. So let's speed up and at 9.37 we are supposed to arrive at Brighton Platform 3. So yeah, this is literally an express train. Yeah? We just performed a single stop in the middle and then that's our final destination. Okay. That's actually pretty nice scenario to begin with. 
uh, when when you are starting your journey in in that route i i really like that dovetail decided to show you entire route in relatively relaxed fashion so you don't get too many light changes although it it gets a bit boring but again for unexperienced drivers i i think that's a good start uh, that that's a good placement of scenarios uh, usually players would start uh, start with local commuter service along first few stations where you have to perform every single stop uh, and, and you get a little bit confused by that uh, you obviously make a lot of mistakes that's that may discourage players but yeah this one seems to be fine i i hope that in the future the scenarios will get more and more and more complicated where you have to actually uh, let's say chase the yellows or, or how is it called uh, in, in on british railways and and do all that kind of stuff yeah uh, that that would be really nice And perhaps we might see some some of that during this scenario. That that would be actually nice. If closer to Brighton we would get, let's say, a train ahead of us and, and we would have to chase those uh, yellow lights and, and do all this kind of stuff to control our speed a little bit more than throughout the rest of the journey. That's, that would be also a nice thing to, to happen. Right, uh, let's keep it at P3 so we won't lose speed that gradually. We are just below 90. And by the looks of it, we should arrive on time. Oh, we are actually increasing our speed, perhaps power 2. Okay. I'm not sure I, I did I actually missed an information board that there will be a speed limit of 80. Right, power one, perhaps two, two. Okay, let's let's keep it off. So I can see that this arrow is getting yeah some brakes might be appropriate though. So again, I might have missed an information board that tells me, hey, there will be a speed limit restriction. That is very probable because I'm, my eyes are going pretty much all over the place uh, right now. So I'm enjoying the ride uh, and I'm not that much focused on the side, even though I should be. <laughs> Okay, speed limit goes up to 90, I, I noticed that. So it was probably 80 just for this tunnel. So we may now speed up. Next signal will be green. Or clear to proceed. I still need to figure out what those diamond boards mean. They might actually mean some... Well, they definitely mean something, but the question is, what do they mean? Is that a whistle board or, or something? I don't know. I, I haven't seen any of those uh, along the ride. So perhaps that that would be indication to for me to sound a horn. Hmm. Let me know in the comments down below. That, that might be interesting thing to, to hear. Okay, we still got 15 miles to go. And by the looks of it, we we are way ahead of time, isn't it? 
at speed of 90, 15 miles, yeah, that, that shouldn't take us 9 minutes. Well, pretty much nearly 20 minutes. So, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I'm fairly sure we will be held at some signals. Oh, there we go, vigilance. Oh wow, that is super nice. I need to take that screenshot. We got a new candidate for a... Thumbnail, isn't it? There we go, another green signal aspect. Okay, attach on the brakes because I'm hitting 90. Oh. That was a weird sign. Okay, so was it related to to the track on my left? Uh, because like that that would actually make sense. Because my track was green to proceed and the track to the left is not. And those white green signs were supposed to actually mean that, isn't it? That, that was scary at, at this point. I, I thought, okay, perhaps my next light suddenly changed to red and I will have to like do some emergency braking from 90 all the way to zero. But yeah, it, it looks like yeah, everything is good. Driven 38 miles. Woohoo, we got an achievement. Okay, 12 miles to go. And we still got plenty of time. Okay, vigilance. Let's use some horn just for the sheer fun. Okay, a little bit more throttle, because our speed is dropping significantly, so... What was that sign? That looked like a speedboard information, that we are about to drop... Was, what was it, 60? I don't know. I, I will drop my speed to 60 and see what's going to happen. Just in case. If there is a reduction, there will be. If, if not, we will find another board. We are ahead of time, so I guess I can afford to lose some speed. But that was a weird sign.
And I mean about that triangular sign. Because they, they usually mean there will be a speed reduction. But I, I didn't notice the number on it. And that was super weird. Okay, so, so far no speed restrictions were applied. Maybe there was an arrow somewhere there. Yeah, that, that road doesn't look like we would have any speed restrictions here. Is there a sign? No, I, I can't see any signs. Some more honking. Yeah, by the looks of it, I'm, I'm just slowing down entire traffic, but on the other hand, why would there be speed limit restriction board if I don't need to restrict my speed maybe it was in that diverging direction or again I missed something and, and I'm just dumb hmm we shall see yeah Nothing happens. Like I, I, I'm fairly sure I'm still in 90 zone. So, yeah, no, no need to waste my time. We got 10 minutes to reach Brighton, and 6.2 miles to go. Yeah, that track doesn't even look like there would be any speed limit restriction. Like, it's perfectly fine. Oh wow, we are 10 minutes ahead of time and just 6 miles away from target. Okay, 70 should be good. Let's just enjoy the ride. I mean, from the time perspective, it would make sense to have a speed limit restriction here. Because... Why otherwise I would be scheduled to arrive in 10 minutes, if I got 5 miles to go. We'll see, we'll see. Worst case scenario, I will see that bump on the graph that I went over 60 and I was speeding, in fact. But yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know, maybe maybe Dovetail just forgot to put a speed limit sign, uh, which they, they tend to do from time to time. Like, their routes are very complex, as you can see, this this place looks absolutely amazing and it's very detailed uh, but there's always something they might miss uh, but the game still thinks okay that should be a speed limit in that place but for some reason there is like a missing speed board or, or something and, and perhaps yeah that's that's why it happens because like why would I arrive 
into this destination so early. Like, I got four miles to go. And what is it? Eight minutes to, to arrive? Yeah, let's carry on traveling at 60. Just in case. Tiny bit of brakes. There we go. Three miles to go. Oh, okay. Speed limit restriction will be 75. So, it was 90. <laughs> Otherwise, why, why would I get speed limit restriction down to 75? So it is now 75. But I can continue at 60, I, I don't mind. Like, I'm way ahead of time. And I believe that is because perhaps the timetable includes a train that might be ahead of me and hold me at the signal and I wasn't held at any signals. So that might be the reason why there is so high discrepancy between timetable and my actual arrival because like so far it, it, it feels like I've been correctly following speed limit restrictions but again I'm less than two miles away from my final destination and I still got six minutes to go so I, I think there was supposed to be a train that is holding me on like double yellows or something which would cause me to, to slow down Oh, there we go. We are now approaching double yellow. 1.4 miles away from from the target. I will drop my speed down to 40. Yeah, 40 seems like a reasonable speed. 1.2 miles to go. We'll press vigilance pedal once more, just in case. Okay. We can now let it coast. I will sound the horn just in case those diamond signs means just like you know, just that. Ah, okay. Now we got single yellow. I will drop my speed even further, down to 30 miles per hour. Oh, there we go, we got 40 miles per hour restriction. So we are grand. Okay, 930 yards. Although... We are being held at the red signal. Okay, that is perfect. Now let's wait for the signal to change. And as I can see, just behind the signal, there is a 25 miles per hour limit zone so we shall follow that so okay okay so there is a little bit of practice at the end of the route uh, where you have to actually adhere to the signals i i like it i i really like it probably it would be slightly hard uh, harder if i would be traveling at speed of 90 but uh, as we can see here yeah, Things are looking good. 
Uh, let's perhaps jump out. And let's take a nice screenshot. There we go. Our lovely train standing at red light. There we go. There are trains leaving Brighton. There we go. We may now proceed at speed of 30, if I understand this number plate correctly. Although I will still adhere to normal speed limit of 25. I think that's going to be safe. And again, this game is trying to piss me off with notifications that pop up. I think Dovetail needs to work on exclusive full screen mode because that shouldn't happen. Okay, that, that looks scary when you are moving on the same track as another train. Okay, let's very slowly approach the platform. We still got plenty of time. My goodness me. And I think that's... Oh, that's a end station with a stop buffer at the end. So, perhaps a little bit of brakes. will be highly appropriate. Yeah. I'm always scared to approach those buffers. There we go. We have arrived at Brighton platform. Let's open the doors and allow passengers to board. There we go. Another beautiful screenshot. Let's get back to the cabin. Okay, and that's it. Right, so let's have a look how we did. And wow, I'm surprised, I'm surprised. So uh, let's analyze this graph a little bit. Uh, we started off pretty well, uh, kept within our speed limits. Uh, there were a few bumps here and there, but uh, nothing too significant. Obviously that is a massive slowdown because uh, we had to slow down right after the sign. I failed to spot any information signs ahead and I couldn't reduce my speed in a little bit more gentle fashion. And then we could travel at 90 with a small bump to 80. And again, uh, here there was information board, so I could actually reduce my speed ahead of time. I kept it going a little bit longer than I should, but again, I still arrived one minute ahead of time. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, then that's the first stop at Gatwick Airport. Perfect. We, we arrived one minute ahead of time. Then there was... Okay, 90, we, we dropped down to like 70 for a while. And then we could speed up back to 90. And that's where I spotted that uh, weird board. And it scared me a little bit. We could travel at 90 and perhaps be held at that signal in here. Uh, but I decided let's travel a little bit slower. And that seems to be fine. Yeah. And we eventually stopped. We still arrived two minutes ahead of time. So we had plenty of time buffer. 
Uh, but eventually, yeah, I need to figure out what this board was. Uh, perhaps uh, somebody can explain it to me. Or I will probably review the video and have a look at it myself. Uh, because like, while I was moving, I, I was like, what? Is that 60? Is that supposed to be 60? Or perhaps there was an arrow for diverging uh, direction, which would actually make sense. Right, guys, uh, we managed to achieve a successful run. So that was my first uh, first episode uh, for uh, London Commuter Rush Hour expansion. It was really fun to drive. I have to admit that that was really relaxing and fun. Uh, although I would expect in the future scenarios to see a little bit more let's say difficulties or obstacles on the road uh, that that would be much more appropriate so some some train that is moving ahead of us and, and stuff like that i hope there are scenarios in the future that will feature such aspect uh, so we will have to slow down control our speed in order to make it within a uh, time frame of our timetable as well as drive safely enough to not pass signal at danger. Uh, that would be very, very interesting uh, set of scenarios. I know in the past there were such scenarios somewhere on British routes. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would like to see that, especially that this route seems to be perfect uh, since it's super busy. There are plenty of trains that we are passing next to and having few of those elements would be nice. Uh, perhaps some uh, red signals uh, near the junctions where uh, trains are uh, changing directions or going into a different part of the routes uh, would also be appropriate. Uh, that, that would actually make things a little bit more spicy. Anyway, guys, this is it for today's episode. Uh, we've been, wow, we've been recording for over an hour. So yeah, I, I think that's that's a good time to finish. Uh, obviously, as always, uh, I will keep reminding you to press that subscribe button and uh, follow up with bell button if you don't want to miss any future episodes for this series or any other content that I create. Uh, I often stream here on YouTube, uh, mostly train stuff, although slightly different game. And so you might enjoy that as well. Uh, I strongly encourage you to look through my channel and check out uh, all the funny playlists uh, that, that you might find uh, interesting as well. Uh, finally, I encourage you to join my Discord server uh, where you can find me and many other uh, of my viewers uh, to interact with. And lastly, yeah, if you are interested in supporting my channel even further, you can press that join button and uh, buy your own membership and gain all those cool perks that I mentioned at the start of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye.